Is Good Sync really good? This time on Hack 5. This segment of Hack 5 is brought to you by GoToAssist. Now you guys know that I really love checking out all sorts of different cloud storage options and different ways to securely and remotely back up all of my different products, even sometimes locally. And this one was a pretty interesting one for me. A viewer Jack sent this one in. He said, yet another cloud storage project for you to look at. I like it because it supports secure FTP, SSH, etc. Now this one is pretty interesting. It's basically your own Dropbox clone it's always going to be a good option if you want flexibility, customization, control, and savings, not to mention a little bit more security. Now, a nice thing about GoodSync, this one in particular, is it offers SFTP, secure FTP file transfers, and it can sync to online storage medias as well. So, for example, if you have Google Drive or Amazon S3, it can sync to those. Very simple, very easy to use. Now, the download process is a total breeze, but unfortunately, it's only available for Mac and Windows, and Android and iOS, of course, but there's no Linux. That's a total downfall. Now, then you can create your first job once you actually have it all ready to go, and you can do two-way syncing or you can do one-way backup. So I'm going to set up my machine over here to actually set up one-way syncing, for example, for my example. I've already done two-way syncing as well, and that one works fine, but for this one, I'm just going to back up one folder to another and see how it goes. So let's go ahead and take a look at my machine. So I have a couple of folders down here, one and two. So let's say one of these might be a Dropbox folder, for example, and the other one is a local folder. So on this one, I just have a couple of images. In this case, I just have a picture of me, one of, one of those monsters, because why not? And then my other machine, my folder has nothing in it quite yet. So I want to make a backup of this picture. So I'm going to go into GoodSync once it's downloaded. And I want to create a new job. You can enter a job name. So for this example, I'm going to call it Monsters Backup. And you can either do synchronization, where you do two ways. And this means that the files are changed on both sides, or you can do a backup. So I'm going to do a backup. They're changed on the left side only. Propagate changes from left to right. And that's an important thing to remember. So when you open this up on GoodSync, my monsters backup, it's going to show you your new sync job right here. Of course, nothing has happened quite yet. So once I have my job created, I'm going to have to go in and decide which folder is going to be on the left side and which folder is going to be on the right. It's very simple to do. All you have to do is go onto your machine and choose the left sync folder and the right sync folder. So left is going to be my stuff to back up. And my right folder will be my good sync folder. Good sync two. So once I've browsed to the two different folders that I want to sync up one way, I can go ahead and decide to analyze. So analyzation basically just takes a little bit of time to analyze the data that's in my folder that I want to back up and determine what kind of files and what kind of folders are inside of that. So I'm going to go ahead and click Analyze. And this won't take very long if you don't have very many folders, luckily. And it'll just show me that I have one image here. Now, these icons right here are very important. If you have several different folders, say if you're backing up your Dropbox, for example, what you can do is choose to back up just certain folders, certain file types, or you can just do no backups at all. So I can choose to back up from left to right, from right to left, or not copy at all. If I choose that, obviously nothing's going to happen. So I want to back up this file from this folder over to my other folder, so I'm going to choose left to right. Now, once that is completed, we can have a little bit of fun. So this is the fun part. So let's go ahead and click Auto right here. So when you click on that, you're going to see that you have a whole bunch of different options. It automatically brings you to Auto. So in here, you can choose whenever you want a file uh, to analyze and sync, or if you want folders to actually connect. You can do all sorts of different things, as well as do scheduled backups, too. I love scheduled backups, so that's one of my favorite things to go ahead and customize myself. But you can also do other things as well. So I'm going to go ahead and choose 
Upon file change, I want it to sync and analyze. I'm not going to run the scheduled ones right now for this example, but I'll go back and do that later. You can also check out generals, the general options, uh, different job types that you can run. You, if you want to change this specifically, you can do synchronizing two ways. You can back up from right to left if you want to change that. And there's a few other options in here. Filters are pretty important if you want to choose to exclude certain kind of files. Say you have a whole bunch of files in your Dropbox, and some of those are for work, some are for personal use. You don't want to back up the work files, so you can exclude those in here. Scripts are a little bit more advanced, but that gives you a whole bunch of different customizations in there. And you also have some advanced options as well. So I'll go ahead and save those. And it's going to analyze one more time. And once that is done, it also does an automatic sync for you. So you don't have to click sync, but usually when you do that and you have several files, it may take quite a lot of time. For example, I had about 12 gigs that I backed up earlier and it took about 20 minutes. So it can be good, can be bad, just kind of depends on what you're used to. Now once that has completed, you can go over to your different folders and make sure that they have actually synced as they should. So I had my stuff to back up. And I had the one file right here. So that has not changed as it should. And then I have my good sync. And there's my file. So it looks like it worked just perfectly. So there are some pros to this particular program. There's lots of customization. That's a definite plus. It's very quick and it allows SFTP as well as syncing to online storage. And that's pretty cool. Now you can also get versions for USB to automatically sync to your USB drive, which is also pretty handy. Now on the con side, it may be too much customization for some people. It might confuse some. And you have to pay to get certain things like syncing to Google Docs. Yeah, that's only in like the pro version, so. Also, and this is probably the biggest downfall, it's not open source. Wah, wah. Now there are open source options of this kind of program, for example, SparkleShare, and I believe I've reviewed that on a past hack five, so you can definitely check that one out. But if you guys have options for me that I haven't checked out so far, and I, I'm always willing to check out new programs, you can email me feedback at hack5.org, and I hope you enjoyed it. Now coming up soon, Plenty more awesomeness for you, but first, a quick break. Working in IT means constantly jumping from one problem to the next, and everything needs to be resolved fast, like every minute counts. So don't waste your time juggling different tools and duplicating all that data entry. Use GoToAssist from Citrix. These guys are the leaders in remote support, and they have the tools you need to integrate into one easy-to-use platform so you can work faster and more efficiently. So here's how it works. There's the GoToAssist, uh, essentially three tools in one that you can customize to your needs. There's the service desk, which allows you to track incidents and you know the resolutions. There's there's go to assist monitoring so you can be proactive about you know, issues so you can fix them before they become huge problems. And of course, remote support so you can provide live or unattended support to any PC, Mac, or mobile device from anywhere to resolve issues quickly. Sign up for your special 30-day free trial. Visit gotoassist.com, click on the Try It Free button, and use the promo code HACK5. That's gotoassist.com, promo code HAK5. We're back again with the Technolust photo of the week. This week, Blake shares his portable software development lab, sporting a Dell Latitude, a Surface Pro, Samsung Galaxy Tab, and two Nexus 7s. Two, why do you need two? I'm, I'm intrigued. And he also has a 21 inch monitor. Of course, that does not fit into the backpack, which has a power strip and is pretty much ready to go. Tear down and setup takes about five minutes. That is so cool. I kind of want one of those. That would be awesome to take with me whenever I travel. And it's all combined over one terabyte of SSD storage and over 16 gigs of RAM. Linux, Windows 7, Windows 8, and Android. I really like that setup. That's really fun. Thank you for sharing your photo. And of course, if you guys want to share your Technolust photos, you can email them to feedback at hack5.org and use the subject line Technolust so that we can find them. That about wraps up this week's episode of Hack 5. But first, I should mention, something's going on with the Hack Shop. Oh yeah, it's the season to get it your Hack you, Shop on. It gives you plus 52 agility. Is that what it does? Plus 30 stamina. Oh my gosh, really? Plus 32. Plus 32, yeah, sorry, I got that wrong. Plus, what is it, 46? 
hacker? 46? Hacker 48. points? 48. 48. 48 hacker points. Mm -hmm. What is this thing called? Oh, it's the <clears throat> hacker bag of holding. Hacker bag of holding. Yes, and I'm very stoked no about it. No farming necessary. Nope, it's great for, you know, it's got all of the goodies from the hack shop, including other fun places to put your, Ooh. you know, your knives and your flashlights and... Uh, my taser. Yeah, <laughs> your, your taser. Mine's got like, spray. you know, real tech, uh, uh, software defined radio dongles. Fun. Um, you don't get my inhaler. No but, pharmaceuticals uh, for no, you. No, no pharmaceuticals. Actually, you know what I use it for is I love this back pouch for, um, <gasps> I put my laptop in the back pocket. Oh, no way! It's great way. for a tablet as well, but I'm actually finding that our panel antennas fit beautifully in here, so you can Ooh, just wear it and then like pivot your body towards your victim oh so that you've got like a really good signal. So you're gonna be standing there like... Mm-hmm, only for the point to point, but yes. Hack That's one the of the things. fun things in the hack shop this season we're very excited <laughs> That's about. awesome. Yeah, so Wall Supplies last. Is it out now? It's out now. Wall Supplies oh. last, and we'll, we'll see. We'll I see. want one. Can I get one? Yeah. Yes! Maybe. Oh, Maybe. I'm so excited for that. Ooh, that's pretty. Also, of course, email us feedback at hack5.org if you guys have ideas for segments. We always welcome your ideas as well as uh, what you think of the show. Absolutely, and you can find all the ways to follow us over at hack5.org slash follow. That's where you'll find our links to all the social nets and all of those things. Uh, and, you know, once again, thank you so much for following us, for supporting us directly, and for letting us live this dream because it is so fantastic. Yay! We Yay. hope everybody had a good Thanksgiving if you're in the U.S. If you're not in the U.S., I hope you had a great week. Yeah, get some turkey anyway. <laughs> get some turkey anyway because it's delicious. All right. With all of that, I'm Darren Kitchen. I'm Shannon Morse. Trust your technolust. We don't have a jib anymore, so we're just going to have to do this. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 I feel like the camera should like go woo, but it doesn't, you know? We could always go like this. A step. It's gym time. Woo! But I'm going up! <laughs> oh god! <laughs> Is the audience gone yet? I don't know. Do you want to check? Okay.